the distinguished delegate of Cambodia to make a statement. Madam President, Madam Secretary General, Excellencies, I warmly congratulate Her Excellency of Fiji on being elected the President of the 71st Session of the General Assembly. Madam President, Cambodia very much welcomes the adoption of the past 2015 Development Agenda, which puts the world on a more equitable prosperity for all by 2030. But we believe that the key will lie how to ensure successful achievement with the lessons learned from the MDGs. Poverty, food insecurity, and housing still remain stumbling blocks. Over 800 million people are undernourished and living under the poverty line. With the increase in population by 2050, pressure on food security will be more acute. And the answer to this challenge, I think, would be good governance. Climate change constitutes another serious global challenge. For its part, Cambodia has officially launched the Cambodia Climate Change Strategic Plan 2014 to 2023 in November 2013. Over the past nearly two decades, Cambodia's economy has been among the fastest growing economies unmatched by any other post-conflict society. And Cambodia is among the 40 countries in the South that have had greater gains in HDI. We have also adopted the National Strategic Plan on Green Development for 2013 to 2030. Additionally, Cambodia has launched its National Council of Green Growth aiming at promoting green economy. Madam President, Cambodia supports the UN reform aiming to make the UN more democratic and more effective to cope with the crucial challenges. In Cambodia's view, the General Assembly should be more empowered to enhance global governance in the UN system. At the same time, ECOSOC has to follow up the effective implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted unanimously by world's leaders. I thank all of you for your kind attention.